Here at Sprout Social, we're building a suite of products that help our customers to effectively run their social businesses every day. And as engineers, that's something that we take real pride in, knowing that we can make an impact for them day in and day out. But looking forward, we realize that the only way that we will grow and even better serve our customers is by bringing talented people into our team and continually investing in their growth and success. Charting new territory is never easy. It requires, I think, this careful balance of risk and rigor and an unreasonable conviction that what you are doing will help someone out there. That attitude got us going early on. Over the years, it's been something that we've strived to instill in our teams and an innate quality we look for in a great engineer. I come to work every day really happy. I know that we're in a space that is it can make a huge difference in the way brands reach their consumers, and that means a lot to me. I love the technical prowess it takes to be an engineer, especially when you have drive and hunger. I think you have the ability to do anything. Drive is what it takes to solve complex problems over and over again. You have to really be hungry and driven to do that. There are so many possibilities uh, that haven't even uh, been realized yet, and so that's what excites me about working at Sprout. In growing our team, we like to think about how it's not just what someone brings to the table, but also the kind of table that we've set for them. We ask ourselves questions like, how do we foster an environment where people support one another, where they can grow and really thrive, and where they have both opportunities and the support structure to reach their fullest potential? Technical solutions in a vacuum don't get us anywhere. One of my favorite things we do here at Sprout that's part of our sort of development process is uh, code review and design review. For people who, who've never been in a formal engineering setting, it can be sort of an intimidating sort of process to go through. But everybody here, you know, is very encouraging about sort of making sure that the work is top notch. Um, and then how do we take the work you're doing and also feed that back into like the work you're gonna do next time. That's what gets me excited. As an agile coach, it's my job to help the teams breed more culture, and culture breeds a lot of collaboration, uh, and that is really at the core of how we develop our products here. My motivation comes from uh, the people that I'm working with and constantly seeing what we're accomplishing as a team. I never thought that I'd be able to create a product like we're making at Sprout, and I couldn't have done that by myself, uh, and I attribute that completely to the amazing people that we hire. I've been able to work on a whole bunch of different problems. And in that, these problems might require different skill sets, different approaches to problem solving. Perhaps I'm using completely different tools. What has been really exciting for me though is if I want to try something new, I know I can ask for it and I know I'll be given an opportunity to. I think that the empowerment that Sprout has given me has allowed me to give back to the community directly because the confidence that I've gained here, the understanding that people actually care about what I want to do and that they believe I can do it, has really allowed me to say, I want to give that to someone else. We really love what we're doing here, this idea that people and businesses can communicate much more openly and effectively than they ever have before. That talking to a company is no longer a moment of dread, but actually a moment of delight. That's how we'll leave our mark. We're really excited that we can already see it happening, but what we ultimately accomplish is not just determined by our team today, but also the engineers that join us for that journey.